problem number 12 prepare balance sheet from the following information as per provisions of companies act 2013 schedule 3 in this problem again you find one or two new items most of it are known to you now one or two new items are there in every problem it is going to be like that you cannot say i don't know i have shared the first information what are the items may come for the, come for the balance sheet under assets liabilities different headings you have to go through that okay then it is become easy for you and every word you have to know the meaning that is also equally important so when you are working any balance sheet problem first you have to understand the asset or liability classification to be done by you then under which heading it comes that is to be ascertained by you so equity capital balance sheet preliminary expense sorry equity capital liability preliminary expense is a asset is a loss asset. yeah discount and issue of share is also a loss is also an asset both comes under uh, same heading non current other non current investment. assets next goodwill intangible asset 10% debenture long term liability stock in trade is an inventory asset loose tools is also inventory asset bills receivable is a trade receivable amount receivable trade receivable cash at bank is cash and equivalents motor vehicle is uh, tangible asset provision for taxation is short term provision short term provision so we are done earlier also so those items new one is for you discount on issue of shares is a new one loose tools is a new one this receivable is a new one so remaining i think quite easy for you to work it out so let me get into problem number uh, 12 in the books of the company company name is not given so i have not written that so same 313 2018 the same one so i have done few notes like earlier problems to make your work make your understanding easier so i have done that so let me go one by one equity share capital 9 lakh 56000 so equity share capital Nine lakh fifty six thousand. Next, preliminary expenses is a loss. Discount on issue of share is also a loss. Both will come under other non-current assets. First one. preliminary expenses 2 lakh 40 discount on issue of debentures 20000 both as i told comes under other non current assets both are losses next goodwill is an intangible asset only one intangible asset so i have not done a uh, heading for that i will take under intangible asset straight away sir ha huh. 
don't even on... copyright yeah, yeah, aspects, correct, right? correct correct copyright is also there in this problem yeah in this problem no, it is sir. not there yeah even that is also intangible asset goodwill amounts to Thirty thousand next ten percent debenture two lakhs that comes under long term borrowing. already you know about this next stock in trade and loose tools both are inventories inventories yeah so i had a note for that stock in trade and loose tools next bills receivable we can take straight away under trade receivable but for your understanding i am making heading note number 1 bills receivable 1 lakh 20000 next Cash at bank one lakh thirty five straight away into balance sheet pro forma only under cash and cash equivalent one lakh thirty five. Next motor vehicle four lakh seventy five. Because you were asking, we can take here motor vehicle. Four lakh seventy-five. Even goodwill also we can take here. Even though tangible or intangible, we can take here. But we have separate, separate. So we can take motor vehicle straight away here under tangible. Four lakh seventy-five. So one is tangible. other one is intangible hope you are understanding last yes, one sir. last one provision for taxation 16000 provision for taxation it comes under short term provisions sir Sixteen thousand, huh? Sir, under fixed assets, sir. Ah. Uh, you have written tangible asset is. Ah, uh, both I have written. Vehicle. Yeah, just for your understanding, you wanted that, no? That's why I written. You can write separately also. That's why I have done. I have done here. Tangible is one. Intangible is one. Sorry, I think I have done the reverse. Sorry. Yes, yeah, sir. Two lakh seventy-five is tangible. Thirty thousand is intangible. Yeah. I think that will be better for you, just for your reference, because one one amounts are there. You can straight away write. That is also quite okay, no problem. So I'll go for totaling. Share capital. 
other non current uh, assets already i have done the fixed asset no need of totaling there next bills receivable comes under trade receivable then long term borrowing so let me take the values to the pro forma share capital is one other non current assets two already i done note three fixed assets inventory is four trade receivable is five long term long term borrowing is six so once we transfer all the totals to the main performa we have to go for uh, balancing or totaling the asset side and the liabilities side so this comes to Eleven lakh seventy-two thousand. Both assets as well as liability. Both the totals should be same. Otherwise, usually something we have done wrong. Usually, but it did not be. They may even they may be wrong also sometime. That is also possible. If we are right, then they are wrong. so if you are wrong then they are right so we have to check that one 